In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NFL games happening on January 7, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NFL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Kansas City Chiefs vs. Las Vegas Raiders The Las Vegas Raiders play host to the Kansas City Chiefs on Saturday in a crucial AFC showdown from Allegiant Stadium. The Chiefs hit the road in this one looking for their fifth straight win and hoping to put more pressure on those around them atop the AFC. For the Raiders, their postseason hopes have been dashed but they'd love nothing more than impact the playoff seeding of their rivals. The Chiefs have won four wins in a row in the series but with October's matchup coming down to the very end, it's likely this one could go either way. The the Kansas City Chiefs have won five of their last six road games. Patrick Mahomes is completing 67% of his passes for 5,048 yards, 40 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. Travis Kels and Juju Smith-Schuster have combined for 2,198 receiving yards and 15 touchdowns, while Marcus Valdez-Scantling has 39 receptions. The Kansas City Chiefs ground game is averaging 112.6 yards per contest, and Isaiah Pacheco leads the way with 760 six yards and four touchdowns. Defensively, Kansas City is allowing 22 points and 331.3 yards per game. Nick Bolton leads the Kansas City Chiefs with 165 tackles. Chris Jones has 13 sacks and Algerius Sneed has three interceptions. The Chiefs are averaging 29 points, while their defense is giving up 22 points per game. Michael Hartman has been activated from the injury reserve, and he could play in this game. The Las Vegas Raiders have won four of their last six home games. Jared Stidham is completing 66% of his passes for 437 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Devontae Adams and Matt Collins have combined for 2,118 receiving yards and 18 touchdowns, while Foster Morrow has 32 receptions. The Las Vegas Raiders' ground game is averaging 122.5 yards per contest, and Josh Jacobs leads the way with 1,608 yards and 12 touchdowns. Defensively, Las Vegas is allowing 24 points and 366 points. 7 yards per game. Max Crosby leads the Las Vegas Raiders with 84 tackles. Chandler Jones has 4.5 sacks and Duran Harmon has 2 interceptions. The Raiders are averaging 24 points, while their defense is giving up 24 points per game. The Chiefs are 0-4 against the spread in their last 4 road games and 1-7-1 against the spread in their last 9 games overall. The Raiders are 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 home games and 5-2 against the spread in their last 7 games overall. The the over is 10 to 2 in Chiefs' last 12 road games. The over is 5 to 1 in Raiders' last 6 home games. The Chiefs are 13 to 6 against the spread in their last 19 meetings in Las Vegas. There are some unique circumstances surrounding the result of this game and how it impacts the top of the AFC playoff picture. Depending on how the NFL handles the resumption of Monday night's postponed game between the Bills and Bengals, Buffalo might forfeit their inside track to the top seed in the AFC, which would open the door for Kansas City this weekend. Regardless, the Chiefs still have a big motivational edge in this game with a potential first-round buy-up for grabs if they can beat their division rival. This game went down to the wire when these teams last squared off in Week 5 at Arrowhead, with a failed two-point conversion by the Raiders in the final minute serving as the deciding play. Since then, Vegas has continued to sputter down the stretch, prompting the recent quarterback switch from Derek Carr to Jared Stidham. Stidham's numbers were pretty good in his debut on Sunday against a much better 49ers defense, and I can see him having several similar success against a weaker Kansas City secondary and pass rush this week. The Chiefs were seven and a half point favorites at home in this exact same matchup 12 weeks ago, which would imply around a five point favorite on a neutral field and around a field goal favorite on the road at Allegiant Stadium. With the number currently sitting at nine and a half, that would imply around a six point downgrade in the market from Carr to Stidham if all other variables between these teams are relatively equal since their last matchup in week five. 
That seems a bit overstated to me considering how comfortable Stidham looked in Josh McDaniel's offense, which makes sense considering the familiarity between them after two seasons together in New England. I would make Carr at least a three-point upgrade over Stidham, but no more than four, so anything north of a touchdown with the Raiders seems to be fair value to me. So the Las Vegas Raiders to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Even though Stidham looked good last week, Oakland's inexperienced quarterback is likely to make some mistakes. Aside from that, Las Vegas is likely to try to keep this game on the ground and slow the pace, which will undoubtedly reduce scoring and big plays. For Kansas City, keep in mind that this team may rest some players in the second half, especially if they advance to the big league. Las Vegas is 4-0 in its last four games after allowing more than 30 points in the previous game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. This one will most likely be lower scoring than previous meetings between these two teams. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Tennessee Titans vs. Jacksonville Jaguars The final week of the NFL season brings divisional matchups across the board and none may be a bigger week 18 tilt than the winner-take-all clash between AFC South foes down in the Sunshine State. The Tennessee Titans are on the road as they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars with the winner claiming the division title and the loser getting ready for the offseason Saturday night. Tennessee was beaten 27-13 at home by Dallas in their previous game last Thursday to suffer a sixth straight loss. They did push against the spread as a 14-point underdog. Jacksonville rolls in off a 31-3 road win over Houston, easily covering as a three-and-a-half-point favorite last Sunday. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the Titans own a 33-22 advantage, but it was the Jaguars claiming a 36-22 win on the road in the first meeting this season on December 11, 2022. The Tennessee Titans have split their last eight road games. Malik Willis is completing 50.8% of his passes for 276 yards, zero touchdowns, and three inter Receptions. Robert Woods and Traylon Burks have combined for 912 receiving yards and three touchdowns, while Chigo Zimakonkwo has 29 receptions. The Tennessee Titans' ground game is averaging 124 yards per contest, and Derrick Henry leads the way with 1,429 yards and 13 touchdowns. Defensively, Tennessee is allowing 21 points and 359.8 yards per game. Kevin Byard leads the Tennessee Titans with 103 tackles. Denico Autry has eight sacks and David Long Jr. has two interceptions. The Titans are averaging 18 points, while their defense is giving up 21 points per game. Derrick Henry is still the focal point of the offense, and they need a big game here. The Jacksonville Jaguars have won three straight home games. Trevor Lawrence is completing 66.5% of his passes for 3,901 yards, 24 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Christian Kirk and Zay Jones have combined for 1,811 receiving yards and 12 touchdowns, while Evan and Graham has 69 receptions. The Jacksonville Jaguars ground game is averaging 131.1 yards per contest, and Travis Etienne Jr. leads the way with 1,108 yards and five touchdowns. Defensively, Jacksonville is allowing 21 points and 355.9 yards per game. Voyasade Aluokan leads the Jacksonville Jaguars with 171 tackles. Josh Allen has six sacks, and Andre Sisco has three interceptions. The Jaguars are averaging 24 points, while their defense is giving up 21 points per game. The offense is ranked 11th in the league, and they require another big game from Lawrence. The Titans are 5-1-1 to -one -to -one against the spread in their last seven road games and 0-4-2 to -to -two against the spread in their last six games overall. The Jaguars are 6-2 to -two against the spread in their last eight Saturday games and 4-0 to -zero against the spread in their last four games overall. The under is 10-3 in Titans' last 13 games overall. The under is 10-3 in Jaguars' last 13 home games. The Titans are 4-1 against the spread in their last five meetings in Jacksonville and 8-3 against the spread in their last 11 meetings. The road team is 4-1 against the spread in their last five meetings. The Tennessee Titans have completely blown a huge lead while the Jacksonville Jaguars have all momentum coming into this game. The Titans are obviously dealing with a lot of injuries, but the biggest is Ryan Tannehill as their backup situation is not going to put them in a good position to win this critical game. These offenses have been absolutely on two different sides of things as of late as Tennessee is averaging 14 points in their previous three games while Jacksonville is scoring an outstanding 31.5 points per game in their last four games. The Tennessee Titans have nothing 
something to play for, and they're a depressed team that's piling up the losses and dealing with injuries. It wouldn't be surprising to see the Titans just roll over in this game and take off for vacation. The Jacksonville Jaguars clinched their second playoff berth since 2008 with a victory here, so you can expect a motivated side with a packed house. The Jags are firing on all cylinders right now, and that defense has allowed a combined six points in their last two games. Dobbs is a better quarterback than Malik Willis at this point, but he's not even close to good enough to compete with Lawrence. Over the last two games, the Jaguars have given up only six points, and the Titans are going to really struggle to score here. Lawrence is going to run up the score here, and the Jaguars are going to get the job done here. This could get ugly for the Titans. Additionally, the road team has covered in four of the last five games against one another, so the Jacksonville Jaguars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When these two division rivals squared off in November, a total of 58 points were scored. For those counting, that's 19 more than Saturday's quota. I'm not sure we will get to 58 again, but I feel good about getting past this current total of around 39 points. I would proceed with caution until we hear more about Henry's status, but either way it will probably be the Jaguars who do most of the work on Saturday. They have scored more than 30 points in three of the past four contests, and Trevor Lawrence is rolling. In the last eight games, his touchdown to interception race ratio is 1-4 to 2. This will be a 30 to 10 or 30 to 13 type of game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now. So if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.